Come on, gang. Let's play 20 questions. Is it animal or mineral? Is it a living American man? Would I wear it at the beach? Can Mr. Blakey spell it? <laughs> Does it stand on its hands? Yes, everyone is playing 20 questions. <laughs> and now, here's the man who knows the answers, Bill Slater. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to 20 Questions, the absolutely unrehearsed program where you listeners send in subjects for our questioner to identify in 20 questions or fewer. I'm the mystery voice off stage, the soundproof booth. I'll tell you what the subject is, and the poster will inform our studio audience. But we won't tell our questioners. Who are Fred Vandeventer, famous newscaster, Florence Renard, musician and teacher, Bobby McGuire, amazing 15-year-old schoolboy, Herb Palazzi, radio and motion picture producer, and our special guest tonight is the glamorous star of stage, screen, and radio, Miss Glenda Farrell. <laughs> Miss Farrell, it's a great pleasure to have you here on our program this evening. Thank you. You add a lot of luster and glamour to our board of questions. Are you ready for the game? Yes, indeed. And you look very game, Miss Farrell. And here goes our first subject. And this first subject is mineral. This is the mystery voice, and true to my word, I'm tipping off the radio audience only. The subject is the wall that Humpty Dumpty sat on. Now let the studio audience see this subject and see if we can get this in funny questions. Herb? Is this a piece of dead American stone? No, it's not a piece of dead American stone. <laughs> that? Is it metallic? Like the living American man. <laughs> yes. It didn't pay off. No. Is that? it metallic? No, it's not metallic. Miss Farrell? Is it in this country? No. No. Lauren? Is it fictional? Yes, fictional. That's four questions. Is it stone? It's stone. That's five. Van? Did the, uh, is it in, uh, European fiction? Uh, Universal fiction, Van. That's six questions. Bobby? Is it in children's fiction? Yes, it is, Bobby. That's the most significant question yet. Seven questions you've asked her. Is it in a little nursery rhyme? Uh, yes. I think it is. Yes. 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 That's eight. I have no idea what it is. Yes. <laughs> I know you have. I'm very happy. Florence? Is the stone manufactured? Uh, no. The stone manufactured? I don't think so. No. No. Subject made of stone. That was the point, Sam. Has it been worked on in any way? Uh, yes, it has. Yep. Yeah. Is it used to grind up food with? No. No, it's not that. Sam? Is it, uh, is it a statue or an ornamental thing? Or no, it's not a statue or an ornamental thing. Bobby? Is it built above the ground? Yes, built above the ground. That's 13 questions, Sam. Is it a structure? It's a structure of a type. A sparrow. Is it a monument? No, not a monument. Fifteen, five to go. Van? Is it a bridge? Not a bridge. Herb? Did animals live in it? No. That's 17 questions. Three to go. Van? Is it a building? Not a building. No. That's 18. Two to go. Not easy. Florence? Is it a means of transportation? No, it's not. 19. Now we've got one to go and you have to shoot at this time. Or else Dr. Cable down in Marlboro, Massachusetts is getting herself set for a grand surprise prize. One more question to go. Question number 20, 20 questions. All right, thanks. I should like to review for just a moment. You said that this is in a children's nursery rhyme. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. All right, let's take a crack at it. Question number 20. Wish I was a kid again. <laughs> Sometimes I think maybe you are. <laughs> All right, who wants to ask question number 20? Somebody come through with it, please. I haven't an idea to ask. He, he raised his hand in the audience. That's funny. Right? <laughs> All right. All right. I have to rule that you didn't get it in 20 questions with the wall that Humpty Dumpty sat on. And congratulations to you, Dr. Cable. <laughs> well, now that was a hard one. I think I might well move into a little bit easier one here. Yeah, we laid an egg with that. You did that. <laughs> and this subject is animal. Bill is dealing the panel a tough hand. Matter of fact, it's Napoleon's right hand, the one he kept stuck in his coat. Now the mystery voice has told the people at home, let the studio audience see what this one is. I told you this would I told you this would be easier. Van? Is this a whole animal? This is not a whole animal. No. Miss Sparrow? Is it living? No, it's not living. Bob? Is it part or was it part of a human being? Part of a human being is right. That's three. Van. Was the human being a man? Yes. That's four. Florence? Was he fictional? No, he was very real. Herb? Is the part that you're thinking of visible to the naked eye? <laughs> <laughs> or 
one question. <laughs> All right. Is the part that I'm thinking of visible to the naked eye? And I have to say that sometimes it is and sometimes it oh, isn't. Oh, well, not. <laughs> I didn't think we'd get into that. <laughs> Bad. Uh, is this man or was this man an American? No. He's not an American. Then again. Was he European? Yep, European. That's eight. Then? Uh, would he have been Germanic? No, he was not Germanic. That's not. Florida? Was he English? No, he was not English. That's ten. Then? Was he Latin? No, he was not Latin. That's eleven. Now you ought to know what he was. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby? Was he Greek? No. 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 That's twelve. Then? Well, was he Slav? No. No. Florence? Was he Scandinavian? No. Oh, I No. Know. Herb? Was he French? He was French. What else? Oh, I know. French is Latin. French is Latin. That's a Latin country. I sure. study French and Latin. I don't know. I don't believe it's usually regarded as one of the Latin countries. Anyway, the man is French in 15 questions, and it's a part of his party you're after, Herbert. Was he, uh, was he a, uh, a ruler or a king? Yes. That's 16. Was it... Uh, the little guy with the three-cornered hat. What was it his was name little, again? It was the Napoleon little guy with the three-cornered hat. It was Napoleon. Now, what part of his body was? It was a hand that he Oh, got the hand. hand. He's touching himself. That's very good. Very good. Very good. All right. I can the see him standing there now. The hand stuck in his coat in 18 questions is very, very good. Now, let's see how you'll do on this one. Which is mineral and vegetable. Time in again with a subject sacred to the memory of Colonel Travis, Davy Crockett, and beloved of Texans everywhere, the Alamo. Now the mystery voice has told the people only at home. Let the studio audience see what this one is, and I think you can get this in 20 questions. Bobby? Is it manufactured? Uh, in a factory? No. No. Miss Farrell? In America? Yes, it's in America. Van? Well, is it put together by man? Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Florence? Is it a structure? Yep, it's a structure. Four questions. Bob? Is it east of Mississippi? No. No? That's five. Van? Is it west of the Rocky Mountains? No. That's six. Herb? Is it in Texas? It's in Texas, Herb. Uh, could I take one more guess? Take one more crack at it. Is it the Alamo? Oh, Herb! <laughs> That's very good. No, I happen to get it, Bill. You could remember the Alamo, couldn't no, you? No, we had a big joke about it on Pays to Be Ignorant last night. Oh, I see. It was very well, fresh in my mind. No joke tonight when you got it in eight questions, and I think that's pretty good going. Uh, by the way, Mr. Palazzi, you haven't up to this point mentioned your mother-in-law this evening. Anything no. wrong? No, nothing wrong. She, she no. was over the house last night. We weren't in. <laughs> she left a little note. Bill, I must tell you what it said. It just said, Killjoy was here. <laughs> I'd like to move on to subject number four. And this subject is animal. Our expert questioners will look sheepish if they don't guess the wool that you pull over somebody's eyes. All right. Mystery voice has told the people at home. Now, audience, I wonder if they can get this in 20 questions. Van? Is it a living American man? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, not a living American man. Bob? Uh, is it a human being? No, not a human being. Miss Farrell? Is it a four-legged animal? Uh, no. No. Van? Is it a part of a four-legged animal? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's four. Is that, uh, Florence? Is it wool? Yes, it's wool, Florence. Is it wearing apparel? No. That's six. Is it a flat piece of cloth? Uh, yes, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that's seven. Van? Is it woven? Uh, not necessarily, no. 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 Uh, her? Well, is it in a saying? Yes. Like, uh, will you pull over your eyes? <laughs> Mr. Palazzo. I didn't pull the wool over y'all's eyes that time, did I? You got the wool you pull over someone's eyes in ten questions, and up to this point, you're doing pretty well by yourself. Well, they really gave me the cues. <laughs> yes. Well, the wall that Humpty Dumpty sat on, you missed. You didn't get that in 20 questions. Then you got our second one here, which went along very well. The hand the pole, you usually stuck in his coat. You got that in 18 questions. Then you knocked off the Alamo in eight questions, and you knocked off the wool you pull over people's eyes in ten questions. So I think that you're doing pretty well there, questioners. Well, okay, questioners, that wraps up four subjects. This subject is animal. Here in my hidden hideaway, I can talk now to the radio audience only. The subject is a kiss. Mm hmm A kiss. People at home know what it is. Let the studio audience see this one. 
Now, audience, if they get this in 20 questions, Van? Is it a whole animal? <laughs> no. No, it's not a whole animal. Bobby? Is it part of a human being? Uh, part of it is. <laughs> Does that baffle everybody here? It certainly does. Uh, have we ever sung about this? Oh, yes. Lots of times. Yep, I don't know three. what it is. I'm just thinking Van? of it. Van? Is it more than one animal? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Florence? Well, is it part of human being, and in addition to that, part of something else? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Van? Is the part of the human being uh, normally visible to the eye? Oh, yes, yes. I've heard that before somewhere. Yeah. That's six questions asked. Miss Farrell? Is it a nursery rhyme? No, you don't find these things in nursery rhymes. <laughs> Van? Is this manufactured? No. Oh, no. No. Herb? Do they itch? <laughs> well, none that I ever knew about. <laughs> No, that's that not. I'm scratching the wrong thing. Then. You are that. Okay, who's next, Van? Uh, is the uh, part that is not human? Oh, you look mystified now, didn't you say? Nobody said any part wasn't human, Van. Well, Miss Renard asked is if it was made out of something that was part human and then part something else. Yes, something part... else wouldn't be human. I, I just... Uh... She wanted to know if it was part of a human and part of something else, and I said yes, and it is. But it's all animal? That's what we say. It's all animal. Charge for those questions. It's all animal. Miss Farrell. Well, is it something a human being wears? Oh, no, no. Uh, still, it might keep you warm. <laughs> no, but it's not something you wear, Miss Farrell. Van? Is, uh, is this uh, article, does it belong to some certain person? Oh, no, no. Universal, practically, in its ownership. <laughs> That's 13. Seven to go. Heard? Do you ever see him in a movie? Yes, oh, sure. Sure, 14. 14? 14 questions. Oh. <laughs> oh, you see more than 14 in the average movie. Van? Is, uh, is this part of the face? Yes, yeah. It's 15. Van has a light in his eye. Is, uh, does it have anything to do with the mouth? Oh, yeah. Yes, that's 16. Van? Does it have anything to do with a kiss? It is a kiss, Van. <laughs> You've got a kiss in 17 questions. I was hoping maybe I'd have to give that to you. I, I, I we don't want 17 you. questions <laughs> many a time. <laughs> Really? I wouldn't have believed it. Bill. All right. We don't want the kiss from you. It's La Farrell we're after. Oh, <laughs> well, I, I will oscillate to another question. Uh, you ask you later on that one. Uh, this is the one where we're going to let you people at home play it right along with, with us. The mystery voice will not give out with this one. The studio audience will know what it is. And it was sent to us by Mrs. J. Wiley Johnson of Kenneth Square, Pennsylvania. And this subject looks like animal, but it's really mineral. Let the studio audience see what this is. Now, if you get this in 20 questions, you're good. Here we go. Florence? Is it something that's carved from mineral in the shape of an animal? It's not carved. It's not, not carved. carved. Well, is it carved from stone? No, it's not carved from stone. I mean, I mean, is it stone? No. That's, that's count that as two. Van? Is it manufactured? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, is it printed? Yes. Yeah. Imprinted. Imprinted. Yeah, that's five. Bob? Uh, is this a class object? There are quite a few of them. But it's distinctive, just the same. Why? Is this a picture of an animal? Yes, it is. That, is it um, emblematic of an organization? Yes. Count each question, please. Van? Is uh, the is the animal which is uh, which we look at, is that of the horse family? No, it's not. That's nine. Bob? Is the animal a human being? No, it's not. That's ten. Miss Farrell? Is it a lion? No, it's not, Miss Farrell. Uh, that's eleven. Earth? Is it an election symbol? No, it's not. Florence? Is it a bird? Bird? No. That's thirteen. Van? Uh, is it a wild animal? No. No, it's not. That's fourteen. Van again. Is it a normally edible animal? Uh, no. 
No. No, we, we didn't get that far. <laughs> That's 15. Sam? Is it of the canine family? Yeah. Mm hmm 16. Now see where we are. We're at five puzzled phases. Such bewildered physiognomies I have not seen in a long time. Bobby? Is it used in advertising? Yes, it is, Bobby. Is it the Greyhound and the Greyhound bus? Oh, Bobby! Well, I don't want to be dogmatic, but I think that's pretty good. The Greyhound on the Greyhound bus and 18 questions is good going. I wonder how you people did at home. I'd like to hear from you if you did any better. Let's pause and give Bill Slater and his masterminds a bit of a rest while we listen to the Bill Bryan Trio and the voice of Joan Barton. And now, back to 20 Questions and Bill Slater. Now, I'd like to move to subject number seven. And your subject is animal. This is the mystery voice once more. The subject is one that puzzles a lot of people from time to time. It's Adam's, Adam's apple. Okay, let the studio audience see what this one is now. Now, see if you can get this in 20 Questions. The Doug sort of beat for this one. Here we go. Van. Uh, is the animal in existence? No. Lauren? Did they ever exist? Uh, yes. And did it ever exist? Yes. Today? Miss Farrell? Was it human? Yes. A tree. Uh, did Don Amici have a flame in the picture? <laughs> no. No. Sort of belled out on that, Florence. Was it in the Bible? Yes. Were there Five. more than one of them? No. Sam? Was it a man? Uh, the subject? Did you say it was animal? Maybe I misunderstood. The subject is animal. Yeah. Well, was the was the animal a man? Yes, the animal subject we're connected with is connected with a man. That's seven. Van? Well, I I'm a little bit confused, maybe. Uh, yeah, no, don't say maybe. Well, uh, I would I would I would like to review for just a moment. Uh, you say that this subject is animal. 
And, but it's not a man, is that your answer? No, I said the subject was masculine. This man. Sir? Did he have a name in the Bible? Oh, yes, of course. Was he the first man? Uh, what? The man. But it, you mean the man we're after that yes. this subject is connected with, was he the first man? Yes. Was he Adam or... Yes, he was Adam. That's, uh, that's this subject is connected with that man. That gets you there in ten questions. Sam? Well, was it Adam's rib that Eve was made out of? No, it wasn't Adam's rib. That's ten questions. Miss Farrell? Was it the snake that... Uh... Oh. No. Bobby? Was it his Adam's apple? Oh! <laughs> Adam's apple is what it was, Bob. Now, here we go. Well, I don't know what to do. I haven't stumped you since that wall that Humpty Dumpty couldn't fall off of or did. Now, let's move to this. Oh, here's one. We're not We're... good on construction. <laughs> uh, well, let's try this one. Uh, and this one is mineral. The subject this time is those little electric mules, the engines that pull the ships through the Panama Canal. Now, the mystery voice has told the people at home. Let the studio audience see what it is. There. Is it metallic? Yes, metallic. Lawrence? Is it fictional? No, real. Sam? Is it manufactured? Yep, manufactured. Bob? The fans to the person who owns it. No. Miss Farrell? Is it stone? No. No. Lawrence? Is it a specific object? Uh, well, there are quite a few of them, but they're quite specific. Her? Would they hurt my house if they dropped one on it? Uh, I haven't seen your house, but I think it probably would. It's not a bomb, however, Herb, if that's what you're after. Van? Does it have any moving parts? Yes, it does. Yep, that's eight. Van? Would it be a means of transportation? Yes, it is a means of transportation. That's nine. Van? Does it run on the ground? Yes, that's ten. Florence? Does it run any place besides on the ground? No, it stays on the ground. <laughs> uh, that's a lot. Herb? Is it brand new? No, no, no. That's twelve. Van? Does it run uh, in certain set specific paths, such as a railroad or something? Yes, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's 13. Sam? Well, is it a part of a railroad train? No, it's not a part of a railroad train. Bobby? Is it a trolley car? No, it's not a trolley car. That's 15 questions, but you've been a little closer than you think. Herb? Well, is it a part of a track? Is it a part of a track? Yeah, of a... Well, is it any part of a track? Oh, of this a railroad part... track or a trolley track? The subject track? is not a part of a track. No, that's 16 questions. Four to go. Lawrence? Uh, this is review. You did say it runs on a track, didn't you? That's right. Mm -hmm. Sixteen questions have been used, Bob. Is it actually used for transporting people from one place to another, or is it used for amusement? Mm, it's not used for amusement. I mean, it's not... I mean, is it actually a, a train that runs from one town to another? And, no, it's not a train that runs from used... one town to another. No. It's Seventeen. You've got three to go. Now... Lawrence? Does this thing carry people? Does it carry people uh -huh. on itself? No. Not a great number of people. May carry the operating personnel. We've got two questions to go on this one. It's pretty tough. Thank you. Well, uh, you say that it's not part of a train, and yet it runs on a train track. I, right. I just want to be sure about that. It runs on a track. Not part of a train. It runs on a track. Miss Farrell? Wouldn't be a hand car. No. Sir. One more question to go now. Lawrence? Is it um, part of the car on an assembly line? No, oh, I'm terribly sorry. We did stump you. The electric mules that draw ships through the Panama Canal. That's a pretty tough one. Congratulations to you, Miss Farrell. All right. Now we're going to come down to the place where I race you against time a little bit. I've got some pretty interesting ones here. And this first of what I call our quickies is mineral and vegetable. The subject is Corregidor, the rock. Now, the mystery voice has told the people at home, let the studio audience see. And when I say go, I'm going to snap my watch, and as I point to each one of you, come right through with your question, go. Is it a geographic place? Yeah. In the United States? No. Is it manufactured? No. In Europe? No. In Asia? Yeah. In, In China. China? No. In, In India? No. Japan? No. Russia? No. In the Middle East? Uh, no. Not technically. Himalayas? No. Is it in the Bible country? No. Asia Minor, was it? No. Is it in the Far East? Yep. Is it on an island? Uh, yep. Is it a volcanic mountain? No. Is it in the Philippines? Yep. Is, is it, it a baton? Corregidor. Not, uh, what, Bob? Corregidor. Corregidor is good. That's it. 
You got Corregidor in 36 seconds, and I think that's very, very nice going. All right, I think I'll try you on another quickie here. This uh, quickie is Animal. The subject is the movie dog heroine, Lassie. Now, the studio audience sees what this is. This isn't easy. The mystery voice is told to people at home, and in just a second here, I'm going to snap my watch, and you're after an animal, which you have to get in 60 seconds, or else Mrs. John Bain, Jr. of Fairlawn, New Jersey, is going to get a grand surprise prize. Uh, how do you like a game, Miss Farrell? Well, I haven't played it very much. You know, You've been very to helpful me. tonight. You've turned a lot of very important questions uh, just in the right direction. Now, here we go on this one. When I say go, we're starting 60 seconds. You're after an animal subject. Is a human being? No. Is a four-legged animal? Yeah. Fictional. Is it a whole animal? Yep. Is it fictional? Yep. Is it living? Nope. Is it in a children's story? Nope. Is yes. it a horse? Nope. Is the animal normally edible? No. Nope. Is it a wild animal? No. Nope. It's a dog. dog. It's a dog. Huh? It's a dog. It's a fictional dog? Yep. Is it Lassie? Oh, Miss Renard. <laughs> it is Lassie. It is Lassie that you got in 24 questions. Now, you folks at home know that you can send in these subjects, and if you stump our questioners, well, you get, uh, you get yourself a grand surprise prize. And we're very glad to get subjects submitted from people both in the United States and up in Canada. So just send in as many subjects as you'd like. We stumped the experts tonight twice out of eight, ten, including our quickies. And that's pretty good going because the things on which we stumped you were pretty, pretty difficult. The wall the Humpty Dumpty fell off of was a toughie. And the mules that pulled those ships through the Panama Canal was a difficult one, too. Yep. But you got all the rest of them. And I feel very, very proud of you this evening, if I may say so, my friend. Thank you, Doctor. We've been very glad to have you here tonight, too, Miss Farrell. Thank you, Bill Slater and your masterminds, for a very interesting game of 20 Questions. Right now, though, it's time for music. So let's listen to 20 Questions' musical board of experts, the Bill Bryan Trio. <laughs> of the Armed Forces Radio Service, the voice of information and education. <laughs>